There has been a major breakthrough in solar technology. In fact, many people are saying this is the biggest breakthrough that we've seen in years. Here is why it's so important. And here is why researchers are saying that this is a game changer. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Now, of course, The Electric Viking, I have to talk about solar because that's a key part of the entire circular economy. Clean energy requires solar, but it's got to be affordable. Unfortunately, solar panel prices have come down this year by around 30%. As a result, we're seeing massive rollout of solar in many different countries around the world. Solar rates of actual homeowners going and putting on their roofs, which are probably the um, most important part of this whole equation, have grown enormously, especially in the United States, Europe, and Australia. However, there has been a revolutionary leap in solar energy. Researchers have cracked the 30% efficiency threshold with perovskite silicon tandem cells. At 30% threshold for this kind of solar technology is absolutely incredible. However, it's not just 30%. In fact, these numbers exceed 30%. Researchers in two separate studies have developed methods to fabricate perovskite silicon tandem solar cells with power conversion efficiencies exceeding 30%. Both of them actually exceeded 31%, pushing past the traditional limits of silicon-based photovoltaics. One study achieved efficiency for optimizing perovskite's deposition on a silicon base using phosphonic acid additives, while the other used ionic liquid to improve charge extraction. Both of them resulted in efficiencies over 31%, the first 31.2 and the second 32.5. In other words, very, very soon, we're going to see these new materials commercialized. Whether it's one or the other, it will be one of them. In two separate studies, scientists presented novel methods that enable the fabrication of very, very high performance perovskite silicon tandem solar cells with power conversion efficiencies exceeding 30%. And this is the kind of solar that you would actually think about possibly putting on your car so it can charge itself. For example, silicon solar cells, which represent the most widespread photovoltaic technology, are quickly nearing their theoretical maximum conversion efficiency, which is 29%. Now, that was before. It was 29%. Soon, though, that's going to change. The way to change that the one way to increase the efficiency of a solar cell is to optimize the spectrum of sunlight for conversion into energy. This can be done by stacking two or more interconnected photoactive materials into a singular device, improving the harvesting of solar energy. Combining perovskite and silicon solar cells into a tandem device provides a promising path toward high-performance PVs, which break records and make the cost to install the solar really a much better equation. In two separate studies, researchers presented different strategies for how we can exceed 30%, or well, how we can both, how we can exceed 31% and 32% in the other one. Overcoming this threshold provides confidence that high performance, low cost PVs can be brought to the market, said Stefan de Wolf and Erkan Aydin in a related perspective. In one study, the researchers show that the uniform deposition of the perovskite top cell on a silicon bottom cell featuring micrometric pyramids, which is the industry standard configuration, can facilitate high photocurrents in tandem solar cells. They demonstrated that using phosphonic acid additives during the processing sequence of the cells not only improved the perovskite crystallization process, but also helped to alleviate recombination losses or losses due to excess heat. In a proof of concept, the authors fabricated a device with an active area of 1.17 square centimeters that achieved a certified PCE of 31. 0.2%. However, taking a different approach, SciTech Daily says that Sylvia Marotti and colleagues 
showed that using an ionic liquid, piperazinium iodide, improved band alignment and enhanced charge extraction at the interface of a trihalide perovskite and the electron transport layer by creating a positive dipole. Using this modification, the researchers developed a perovskite silicon tandem solar cell that demonstrated an impressive open circuit voltage of up to two volts and a certified PCE of 32.5%. This conversion efficiency is, it's a new record and it's a truly staggering number. And keep in mind, neither of these research teams used quantum computing. Now we're seeing a lot of new research teams pop up now that are finding solutions by using computers, which generally they're taking three to four months to find solutions to very, very complex problems. That will happen. There'll be better ways than this. You'll find out within the next probably two, three, four, five years, much better ways than this where we can also commercialize them at a low cost. This is just the start. And based on the last 20 years of cost declines and conversion rate efficiencies, it's likely we'll see a halving of the cost of solar energy by the end of this decade. However, by the end of 2040, fossil fuel will be almost completely dead, more than likely completely dead, because the cost of solar and batteries will be so low that it simply would not make any sense whatsoever to continue burning coal or gas or whatever it else, or whatever else it is that people are doing. So the future of renewables is truly staggering. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching.